Hey, what's going on everyone? Moose here, Air Guns of Michigan. And today I want to talk about something that may throw everybody off a little bit. Some of you are probably uh, thinking, oh boy, here we go. Or the other part of you are going to say, you know, that's pretty important. So I want to talk today about air gun safety. And a lot of people really do overlook this, including myself, for, well, quite some time. It's always been in the back of my mind, how safe are air guns to shoot? Well, there's a lot of steps that we can take to make them safer. We can wear glasses. If we're shooting air guns that don't have good moderation, or maybe they're some of the larger calibers, and they create a lot of noise, maybe some good ear protection isn't such a bad idea. These are just some of the basic steps that we take. Obviously, ma making sure that our guns are in good functional form and things along those lines absolutely have an impact on the safety of shooting air guns. But something that we overlook often, and I see it every day, I do it every day, I make the same mistake as all of you do is handling of pellets or slugs these are lead and they roll around in these tins or wherever they're in the baggies or whatever and then we come over here and we open it up and we start pulling out pellets and loading them into our magazines <clears throat> like I said not that I've never given this any kind of thought in the past but lead's dangerous. It's really dangerous. I can only imagine what the lead content in my body is at this point. If you shoot or have shot for any amount of length of time and handle pellets, you potentially could be poisoning yourself. Now, am I trying to tell everybody, oh my gosh, stop doing it? No. But I decided to figure out what is the best way to handle lead. I mean, if you're like me or, you know, and you chew tobacco, I load my pellets in my gun, I grab a dip and I throw it in my lip. You smoke cigarettes. You grab your coffee cup. You got lead on your fingers, you grab your coffee cup, you stick it in your mouth, you go to town. We're all, I would say that almost all of us are in some way or another dealing with elevated lead levels in our bodies. That's not good. So I started thinking the other day and I was like, you know, maybe I'll just get some, some, you know, you know, rubber gloves and carry them around with me and every time that I go to load my gun I'll use a rubber glove and you know protect my hands well then I started thinking I was like gosh that's kind of it's asking a lot because I don't want to shoot my gun with a rubber glove on so if I use a rubber glove to load a magazine pull it off throw it away then where am I left well I'm left with I guess I got to use another rubber glove so I was at the range the other day shooting a hundred yard bench press and I mentioned to a group of my friends I said, you know, what do you think if I develop Like something that you can dip your fingers in or spray on your fingers and you know It'll it'll give you a protective barrier between your skin and the pellets Something that's easily cleanable, you know, doesn't necessarily wash off real easy and somebody said, hey man, they've had that stuff for years. And I thought, really? Yeah, man. So, I went out and started looking it up. And I found this product on Amazon. And uh, I'll put a link in the description below to where you can find this. It's called Gloves in a Bottle. And crazily enough... It says, gloves in a bottle bonds with the outer layer of skin cells, forming an invisible uh, shield that helps keep the bad stuff out and the good stuff in. 
So it's a uh, conventional lotions, or it says conventional lotions only attempt to replace natural moisture with artificial moisture. The problems are that conventional lotions wash off and often send the wrong message to the moisture protection elements of your skin to make less moisture, usually resulting in a dependence of continued use. It says that this product will not wash off, comes off naturally with exfoliated skin cells, helping retain your own natural moisture. Wash your hands, dry, apply a small amount, work in well, and allow it to dry completely. Reapply every four hours. Now, I thought, man, this is great stuff. So I've already washed my hands. I'm going to apply a small amount to my hand. I'm going to work it in thoroughly, especially uh, on my fingertips, things like that. Oh, it's kind of interesting. Feels good. It, it's kind of slick at first, and then you can kind of feel it going away. Or not going away, but... Okay, so my fingers don't really feel any different as far as like, you know, like greasy or slimy or anything like that. But apparently now I have a protective layer on my hands. Now, while this isn't going to combat playing with my pellets and then throwing in a chew, it did give me a protective layer on my hands. So, what I'm thinking is, stick my finger into the lead, kind of roll my fingers around on it. All right, excellent. You, I can actually see it. I don't know if you guys can, but I can see that grayish layer of lead happens to all of us well i'll be darned gone left behind on my rag so a rag some glove in a bottle and you're going to do a much better job at protecting your hands. Now, if you really wanted to, you can actually carry around, which I think this is the process that I'm going to use. I'm going to carry around some uh, hand sanitizer to even get the, make sure that that stuff comes up. Now, via the company website, it says the hand sanitizer will not remove this. Uh, washing your hands and scrubbing your hands will not remove this it has just created a barrier to keep the lead getting on your fingers and through your skin personally i'm ready to make air gunning safer i really am and uh, just so you guys know i am not sponsored by this company at all um this can be used for mechanic work anytime that you come in contact with gases oils or, you know, gas, fuel, whatever you want to call it, uh, oils, anything like that, this will protect your hands. Uh, it gets incredibly good ratings through Amazon, and uh, I just think it's the next smart thing to do when it comes to air gunning. Protecting ourselves from being poisoned by lead. It is something that all of us are in contact with all the time. Breathing it, everything else. I mean... It really is something that we should really take better steps to avoid exposure. Uh, LDCs. Uh, have you ever pulled your LDC off and tapped it on the table? Try it. Watch what happens. Mm -hmm. Yep. And all those little fine particles are going right into your mouth. I don't know what brought this all on, but it is what it is. So this is my first step in protecting myself. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Hopefully you found that it was pretty informative and uh, maybe it changed your mind on the way that you handle pellets and slugs and everything else lead going forward in the future. So till next time, I'm Moose. This is Air Guns of Michigan. Be good to each other and God bless.